Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James grounded family Bible study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Numbers chapter 1. Yay! And the Lord spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai. So we're still in Exodus 20, 21. We're still at Mount Sinai, where the Lord spoke unto him the Ten Commandments. Moses goes up and down in the mountain. In the tabernacle of the congregation, on the first day of the second month, in the second year. It's been two years after they were come out of the land of Egypt, saying, That moment of Passover has been two years and a month. Yeah, two years and a month on the first day. Take ye the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel, after their families, by the house of their fathers, with the number of their names. So we're going to do a census here. We're going to see later on the census in, in the Bible is wrong in the law. But that census is, you know, let's count the people and see how good we are. But we're going to get a total of how many people are in Egypt, uh, Israel that come out of Egypt with the number of their names. That's kind of interesting. The number of names in Hebrew letters have a number assigned to them. Every man by their poles. That's a head. But when you get out of the Bible, when you get out of the world, the, the poles say. Are you going to the poles? This poll says that these people say 65% this and 45% this. They get it from the Bible. From 20 years old and upward. Okay, we're going to look at a vast number of people here. But we're not looking at all Israel. 19 years and younger are not being counted. All that are able to go forth to war in Israel. So anywhere that somebody is 20 years and older. It doesn't give an age, an advanced age. If they're not able for war, they're not counted. So from birth to 19, and if you're not able to do war, you're not counted in Numbers 1. Now, we're also given, a, in Leviticus, we're given a, a thing about if a man just marries a, a, a woman, he is out of service for a year. Does this count? Now, we know it doesn't go for a man that built a house. They're in the wilderness. We don't go for the man that built a, a, a vineyard because they're in the wilderness. They're not building. They're not planting. But if a man were just to marry a woman, according to the law of Leviticus, He's free from military service. He's free from duties for a year to, to please his wife. So is that man counted as not able to go to war? Though an Aaron, Moses and Aaron shall number them by their armies. Okay, now Israel's a nation and they got an army. And they'll be going to battle soon under Joshua. This is a registry. And we'll see this in Ezra 2.62 and Nehemiah 7.5 and 64. It's a national poll of all the Jews. And it's not for prize. Not to look who, America does her polls. Look how great we are. And with you, there shall be a man of every tribe, every one head of the house of their fathers. These are the names of the men that shall stand with you. Of the tribe of Reuben, Elzer, 
the son of Shedar. Of Simeon, Shemodi, the son of Zahar, it makes him alarm. Judah, the line of Jesus Christ. Nahash, the son of Abinadad. Issachar, Nahio, the son of Zoar. Of Zebulun, Elab, the son of Helon. Of Joseph, of Ephraim, Joseph is broken into two sons. Elishema, the son of Amenahada. And of Manasseh, Gamiel, the son of Pedi Hazer. <laughs> You're not saying the names right. At least I can say through the Bible studies and reading through the Bible, I've read through the Bible completely. I've read every single word that's in the Bible. What about you? I'd rather get to heaven, find out one of these people are here from the, some of their names, have them put their arm. <laughs> that was a good try, but my name is. And I get it all the time with my name styling. People, it takes some for some people, it takes a few times to get it right. And Benjamin. Of Biden, the son of Gadioni. Of Dan, Eliezer, the son of Amishadadai. Of Asher, Pagiel, the son of Akron. Of Gad, Ashalaf, the son of Duel. And I guarantee if I run across these names again, I'm probably not going to pronounce them the same way. Of Gad, Elshaphat, the son of Duel. Of Nathapali, Nathatali. Ahira, the son of Enan. These were the renowned, well-known of the congregation, princes of the tribes of their fathers, heads of the thousands in Israel. So they're divided into 12 tribes. Of those 12 tribes, and Moses and Aaron took these men, which are expressed by their names, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, Benjamin, Dan, and they, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees. Now it's funny, in America it's for dogs. In America, a pedig pedigree is a dog. In the Bible, it's a line of ancestry. After their families, by the house of their fathers, According to the house of their fathers will be Simeon, Judah, Issachar, that's their fathers, of Jacob, of Isaac, of Abraham. According to the number of their names, from 20 years old and upward by their full, no one under 19, no females. And if they're not ready for war, they're not qualified for war in the army, they're not mentioned. As the Lord commanded Moses, so he numbered them. In the wilderness of Sinai. And the Lord commanded Moses. You're going to find this 30 times. In 30 verses. Jesus Christ was 30 years old. About that age when he began his ministry. And he has a genealogy mentioned in Matthew. That matches to King David. And he has a, a genealogy of names and numbers. That goes all the way back to Adam. In Luke chapter 3. You know, right now, Jesus Christ is the only one that can trace himself back to Adam. I don't care if you contact the, the, the Mormons for your list in your book or you spit in a tube or that. You are not going to trace your, your genealogy all the way back to Adam. Only Jesus can do that. So, the children of Reuben, Israel's eldest son, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, by their poles, every male, no females, from 20 years old and upward, no one under 19, all that were able to go forth to war, so if they were not able, they're not numbered. So when we look at this list again in chapter 1, these men are the only ones qualified to go into war 19 years old and above, 20 years and old and above. And when we get to the end of these numbers, and we'll get to it in 46, 603,550 603, men, 20 years old and over, 
no females, only ones applicable for the service of war, armies. 603,550 people. You know how many Israelites there were all together? Incountable. Incountable. What about the one who couldn't do? What about the one who was afraid and couldn't fight back? What about the one that had, you know, a, a, a thing in his body he couldn't do it? So, the those excuse me those that were numbered of them, even the tribe of Reuben were forty and six thousand and five hundred. Again, only twenty and they're able for war. No females. Of the children of... Okay, let's see. I got another thing here. Okay. Reuben's mentioned 74 times. Reubenite once. Reubenite 16 times. Of the children of Simeon. By their generations. And after their families. By the house of their fathers. Simeon. That's what started off this tribe. Simeon. Those that were number of them according to the number of the names. So every man's name had a number. 501, 502, 503. By their poles, head count. Every male from 20 years old and upward. No one younger. All that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even the tribe of Simeon, was 59,300. Simeon, you see 50 times. I don't, don't remember if that's just the book of Numbers or the whole Bible. Of the children of Gad, by their generations, after their families, all the families that were of, of Gad together, by the house of their fathers, Gad, According to the number of the names, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Now God keeps putting that, the Holy Spirit keeps putting that, and every time we deal with it, because we're not looking at the whole number of Israel here. And this number is going to change later on in the book of Numbers. When God starts plaguing them, they start doing wrong, and they start dying off. Now I've got a chart of these men, and I'll see what I can do with it. Gad, I believe I was on. Those that were numbered of them, even the tribe of Gad, were 40 and 5,650. Now here's the line of Jesus Christ, of the tribe of Judah, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of names from 20 years old upward, no one younger. You realize if this was before the ministry of Jesus Christ, he would not be mentioned here. His ministry began at 30. And to upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even the tribe of Judah, were three score, 14,600. Be 74,600 soldiers. So far, he's the top. Of the children of Issachar, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were number of them, even the tribe of Issachar, were 50 and 4,400. 54,400 soldiers. The tribe of Zebulun, by their generations, after their family, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even the tribe of Zebulun, were 50 and 7,400, 57,400 soldiers. Of the tribe of Joseph, namely, of the tribe of Ephraim, Joseph is split into two. By their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward, 
all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even the tribe of Ephraim were 40,500, 40,500 soldiers. Of the tribe of Manasseh, the other son of Joseph, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of names, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even the tribe of Manasseh, were 30 and 2,200. 32,200. Now, there are some people who will say, and I don't know if it's wrong, and I don't know if it's right. Correct. They say that the Bible is the land's book of life. And the possibility that the 32,200, maybe your name's in amongst Manasseh. I don't know. That's what some say. I'm not going to say it's wrong. I'm not going to say it's right. Those that were number of them in the tribe of Nassau were 30 and 2,200. 32,200 soldiers. Of the children of Benjamin, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the name, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even the tribe of Benjamin, were 30 and 5,400. 35,400. Army. Military men. Of the tribe of Dan. Now this is interesting. By their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of names, from, the tw from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. And those that were numbered ev of, of them, even the tribe of Dan, or three score, 2,700, 62,700 soldiers, 20 years old and above. Dan only had one son. I mean, I forget how many sons that Reuben had, how many sons that Judah had. Dan, only one son, and he's 62,700 soldiers in Numbers chapter 1. He ranks up there with his other brothers. His family really multiplied. <clears throat> Those that were numbered of them of the tribe of Dan were three score two thousand seven hundred soldiers. I'm getting with the number. All the children of Asher by their generations, after their family, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward. All that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even the tribe of Asher, were forty and one. 1,500, 41,500 soldiers. That's a quite a bit of people. Listen, these men are not divided into Marines, Air Force, Navy, and Coast Guard. They're divided into 12 tribes, 12 divisions of people. And these are not ill-begotten people. These are men of strength. These are men that can walk. Through the wilderness, they can walk through deserts, hand-to-hand -hand combat, with swords, not push button. There's a lot here. Uh, Asher, 41,500. Of, of the children of Nephtali, throughout their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the name, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even the tribe of Naphtali, were 50 and 3,400. 53,400 men, soldiers. These are those that were numbered, which Moses and Aaron numbered. You imagine Moses and Aaron have to count these guys? They all lined up by tribes. <laughs> You know, when Joshua said, he calls out Achan. He called, I want the tribe of, I forget which Achan belonged to. All right, that tribe stepped forward. Now, I want the father of this particular tribe, the family. They stepped forward. I want the family of, and the family stepped. And he came all the way down to that one Pacific man. I guarantee that's what these guys did. Right here. God does everything orderly. Moses and Aaron numbered the princes of Israel. Now notice it says princes, they're tribes. Within the tribes, they're princes. Now Ishmael is princes, 
as far as they're not tribes, they're princes. Edom are dukes. Why are they princes here? Because there is a God and there is a king and their king is God. And who's under God? The princes. And right before the princes would be the Levites. It's a royal kingdom as God is the leader. There's no king yet. Being 12 men, we just went through the 12 tribes. Each one was for the house of their fathers, Ephraim, Manasseh, Benjamin, Dan, Judah. So were all those that were numbered of the children of Israel by the house of their fathers from 20 years old and upward. How many times has that been said? And that were able to go forth to war in Israel. God wants you to know who was numbered and who was not numbered. When Jesus fed the 5,000, it's just men. There was no women mentioned. Even all that were numbered were 600,000, 3,550. 603,550. I, I should have got what how many people were in the army in America. That's a lot of people. But the Levites... After the tribe of their fathers were not numbered among. So don't include Levi. Levi has that special inheritance. He's not counted. Now do you remember Levi? He and Simeon went and told these people, hey, you get circumcised. Then you can have our daughter. And they went in there and killed everybody by the sword. Levi and Simeon, even by their father Jacob, said these guys are cruel. You keep them away from each other. So Simeon has 59,300. They're, they're fierce. Benjamin, the Bible records, he can use his right hand and his left hand for slinging stones. Benjamin can hold slinging stones in both hands and fight. Benjamin takes on the 11 tribes and, and judges and kicks butt. 603,550 army men, when you go with the scriptures, they're fierce. Their fear. And then you know what the number one thing on top of that is? They have one God, Jehovah, which loves them and will protect them if they do right. So right there, they they're in a battle, they're in a battle one time. God says, I'll send hornets. <laughs> God says, dig ditches, and they dig ditches in the middle of the night, water came, and they look like blood, and the two armies that are opposing Israel start beating each other up. An angel of the Lord comes into the camp and destroys, I forget what the number is. For the Lord had spoken unto Moses, saying, Only thou shalt not number the tribe of Levi, they're special. Neither take the sum of them among the children of Israel. Now that's the kind of answer to Jacob's prayer. Jacob commissioned his sons, you keep Levi and Simeon away from each other. When Moses said, who's on the Lord's side, when Israel sins, guess who steps up to the plate and starts killing? Levi. But thou shalt appoint the Levites over their tabernacle or testimony. They're not going to fight. Their job's that tabernacle. They're the priests. Over all the vessels thereof and over all things that belong to it. Even the pins, the shovels. They shall bear the tabernacle and all the vessels thereof, and they shall minister unto it. Take care of. A man that calls him a minister and does not take care of his people, does not take care of the church, does not do as far as service to the people, he's not a minister. A Bible minister is somebody that serves the people and serves the building and serves the Lord. It's not just a title. And shall encamp around the tabernacle. And we'll get all through that when we, by the time we finish Numbers. And when the tabernacle says forward, the Levites shall take it down. And when the tabernacle is to be pitched, the Levites shall set it up. And the stranger, now a stranger, here's anybody who's not a Levite. So now we see another stranger in the Bible. If you're non-Levite, you may be a stranger. Cometh nigh shall be put to death. Capital punishment. If they're setting up or taking down that tabernacle and you don't belong there. 
There's no curiosity. There's no getting your nose in business. It's not your business. You don't belong there. If you do not belong there and you're there, you get put to death. Uzzah had great intentions, I can imagine. He just, that ark stumbled and he put his hand, I'm going to protect the Lord. And Lord, you're dead. And the children of Israel shall pitch their tents. Every man by his own camp, we'll get into that in later chapters, every man by his own standard throughout their host. But the Levites shall pitch round about the tabernacle of testimony. Lord willing, we'll get to that. And that there be no wrath upon the congregation of the children of Israel. Oh, there's going to be plenty of wrath in Numbers. And the Levites shall keep the charge of the tabernacle of testimony. And the children of Israel did according to all that Moses command, all the Lord commanded Moses, so did they. So there we go.